Now when you're using a scraper like this, always be careful with this. This is a sharp razor cutter and it's very sharp. This will cut you open in a minute if you let it. Okay, and before I start scraping, see as I'm going to push, I'm naturally, as I'm holding this, I've got more weight over on this side of the scraper blade from here over. I'll still be able to scrape over there, but I'm not going to have as much pressure over there. And if I flip it, I'm not going to have as much pressure over here to the right, your left. Okay? And that's something important to remember because once this blade starts getting dull, I'm going to, well, let's just get, let's just get it started here and I'll show you. And this stuff is kind of hard in itself. And see, I've got to put a lot of pressure right there to just get a little a bit, an inch of it wide. Oh, see? And this handle might be a hair too long, so I'm going to lower it down a little bit so I can get more pressure on there. I can hold this here and get more pressure and then see I can flip it over and use from here over see I didn't think this was going to work too well for this but it's getting it's getting some of it off there's only so much pressure you can put on here and this glue is not really super tight to the floor Okay, so I've got to like put a lot of pressure here, and I'm only taking off a little bit at a time here. I was hoping this was going to work better, but it's not. Now I'm going to flip it over and use this part here. So I'm going to start over here. Let's go that way. I only want to go an inch or so at a time. If I try to take the whole thing, it's very difficult to do that depending how thick your glue is on the floor. If it was carpet glue and the glue was up higher, I'd be able to take a little bit wider swaths to it, but you see what happens? I'm not getting a whole lot, and I'm realizing I'm getting more cutting from here, scraping here, because I can't put very much pressure there. So if I flip that over and try to do it, I can do it to a certain extent, but not as, not as well as this edge. You see? And so then when I flip it over, instead of, instead of using this side here, it's kind of hard to do it. It'll do it to a certain extent, but only with me pushing down really super hard, because I'm trying to keep my pressure over here on your right. So I'm doing that. It takes a lot more effort, so I'm going to flip this around. And I, it's still going to take me an effort, but I've got my weight here, which is then transferred from this point over. And I just take little, little swipes at it. Now, if I didn't have... I sprayed a cleaner on here to try to loosen up some of this, this uh, mastic. Man, this is still going to be tough, but you know, once I get it to this point, then I'll take my other hand scraper and I'll come back in here and I'll use this one, you know, to get all the imperfections that this one didn't get me, but at least this one, this big one got me up off the floor to do this section right here, see? It gives me a rest. Once I get down on my hands and knees, man, that takes the effort out of you after a while. Then, you know, I'll probably use that for a while, then I'll stand up and I'll use this one again. 
Then after I feel a little better, I'll, I'll get down on the floor and do that one. Now here's, here's one more thing to think about. Now see, on this blade, I'm flipping it, I'm basically using this, this cutter edge from mid section or a third over and then over this direction, okay? Mainly for this floor. When I flip it over, I'm still using this end of the blade on the back side because it's double edged, okay? So once I can't do that anymore, do I have to throw this blade away? No. Once I, once I figured that the rest of this is pretty dull, let's say I'm gonna take this blade out. I'm gonna flip it around over, put it back in so I have this cutter from here over is gonna be installed from here this way. If I flip the blade around, you see what I mean? Then I can, I can use this blade effectively from here over on both sides, just like I am over here. For this particular floor, that's what I have to do. So I have to keep in mind, once I get to a point where I think, man, I can still get it a little bit, but with so much effort that I don't know how long I'm gonna last. So once I get to that point of no return on that blade, here, I'm gonna flip it over, then I'll have this cutter. It's almost like using two blades in one, let's say, for this. And for any sort of scraping, that's what you do. I can use this any other type of way. I'm scraping the same way. Yes, granted, this side will still cut if I'm up next to a wall, and if I put a lot of force on it, I can still get it with some effort. Okay, and then I can flip it around and get next to the wall over here, let's say, either direction. But overall, I know all of my weight is transferred on this side. And that goes, that goes for my scraper here. I don't ever have to flip this blade one way or another, but as I'm cutting, uh, let me get my, uh, my knee pad. I've already showed on one video this, but if you didn't watch that, catch this here, okay? This blade is starting to get dull, but I'm, I'm using this side more so so I can clean that up. And then I can still use this side of the blade, just, just hold it tight, and I'm cutting, I'm, I'm using that. And then I'm flipping it over, and I'm using this side, and I'm using that side as well. Okay? See, this blade is pretty dull, because it's not taking up very much. Okay, so there's four, there's four different ways I can hold this, or two, but I'm putting more pressure from here over to use this cutter. And usually what I'll do is I'll do that over this way, over this way, over this way. Then I'll flip it over and use this cutter over here, over here, over here. Same thing with this cutter on this, over here, over here, over here, and then flip it over and go over there. Because what I like to do is create a line. I like to create a line on my mastic. Once I, once I get a line, then I can start using that line and, and continue it over, you know, just a little bit at a time. And then when, when I feel my blade is starting to get dull or something, I can use this from this over to cut over here a little bit in this way. And if I want over here, I can flip it over and use that. That starts getting dull. I can flip it and go that way. Keep trying your blades because every once in a while you might think one side's dull. And then you flip it over. You think, oh, okay. It's still working. Let's so see. I'm going to take this. Yeah. This blade's pretty much shot. I hope, though, you get the idea of how to use a, a scraper blade. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue scraping with this 
and do a little bit more here. Whew. 